welcome to a short overview on how to manage Azure resource policies using the Azure portal. My name is Chris Peachman. I'm a Microsoft MVP. You can follow me at buildazure.com or on Twitter at buildazure. So first, let's start off with what resource policies are. Resource policies allow you to apply restrictions to what Azure resources or what Azure resource uh, locations or regions can be used to, to be provisioned within a certain context. The context available, you can apply policies to an entire subscription or just to an individual resource group. Some sample resource policy usages are you could restrict to only allow specific Azure regions to be used within your Azure subscription. You could also restrict certain Azure services that you do not want to allow to be used in your organization's Azure subscription. And you could also require storage account encryption to be turned on for storage accounts that are provisioned. Now let's go through a demo showing how to use this in the Azure portal. Now I'm logged into the Azure portal. In this case, I'm using the preview portal available at preview.portal.azure.com. At the time of recording this, policy management is only available in the preview portal. But sometime in the near future, I'm sure they will make it available in the standard current Azure portal. So to access policy management, we need to go first as access a Azure subscription. To do this, I'm going to click on more services in the left navigation, and I'll just click on subscriptions. Now I can see a list of all my subscriptions that I have access to with the account I'm logged in with. Right now I just have the one. I'll click on the Azure subscription that I want to apply policies to. Policies do need to be assigned to a single subscription. So if you have multiple subscriptions, you'd have to add the same policy across each subscription you want to apply that policy to. So then a list of navigation links for the subscription blade will scroll down and underneath usage and quotas we have policies. And we click on that, this will open up an, a pane that allows us to manage our resource policies. Currently we don't have any because I haven't, I haven't created any by default and Azure subscription does not have any policies to applied. So I'll click on the add assignment and we'll create a new policy. So we select the policy definition. In this case, if we want to allow certain locations, allow specific resource types only, allow storage account SKUs, VM SKUs. If we don't want to allow certain resource types, so we want to allow everything but only restrict a certain subset not to be allowed, or maybe want to require SQL Server version 12 or require storage account encryption specifically. In this case, I'm going to set up a policy that only allows specific Azure regions to be used. So I'll click Allowed Locations. And then for the Allowed Locations, by default, it doesn't have any selected. In this case, I'm going to select a few. So let's say I want to use North Central US, and the region pair of that is South Central US. And say we want to restrict our subscription to only use those two resource groups, or excuse me, those two regions. So I'll select those two regions. Then the assignment name, I just need to give a name to this. So I'll say My Corp Regions. Assignment ID, I'll just set to the same. And then a description will say only use North Central US or South Central US. And then scroll down and we can scope it. So it's showing in here my Azure subscription, and then it's also showing me my resource groups. So we could restrict just the resource groups to only use these regions, or we'll, in this case, we'll select the subscription and apply this policy to the entire Azure subscription. And click OK, and it's going to go and save that policy. Now let's also add another assignment. And in this time, let's restrict a service. So we'll say, instead of allowed resource types, we want, instead of specifying all the services we want to allow, maybe we just want to restrict one. So let's say not allowed resource types. So this is going to allow us to restrict and, and not allow a certain resource type or multiple of them to be used. So I'll select the drop down here to select which resources I want to disallow or not allow. And I'm just going to type document, and let's just say document DB. Maybe we want to restrict and not allow our people to use document DB on our subscription. So we'll select that. And then I'll just set the account name and the ID. Just say no doc DB. And then description. We don't want to use document DB. Then I'll click OK, and it'll save that. Now we have two policies applied on this particular Azure subscription. We're only allowing North Central, 
U.S. and South Central U.S. regions to be used with the MyCorp regions policy and the no DocDB policy is restricting so that we are not allowing DocumentDB to be used within this subscription. Now that these policies are in place, let's see how they're enforced. So let's look at that through the Azure portal and let's go ahead and try to provision a specific resource that's not in one of our assigned um, allowed regions. So we'll click on the new button in the navigation. Let's just do a web app. So web plus mobile web app. And then we'll go and provision a new web app. So we need to add a name for the web app. And I'll copy that name and I'll use that as the resource group prefix dash group for the resource group name. And then for the location, we're going to create a new location um, or a new app service plan. Name my app service plan the same dash plan. Uh, and then for the region, instead of North Central US or South Central US, let's say user tries to go and spin something up in Japan West. Um, and we'll leave the pricing tier the default. We'll click OK. And now we're going to try to set up and provision a web app and web app plan out in Japan. So we'll click Create. And it's going to go ahead and validate and attempt to provision this resource. Now we show an error. Uh, if we click on this, we can view details. And we can see, oh, there is an error. It says bad request. Please see details. If we go down to the details, we can say, we can see the resource action, website's right, is disallowed by one or more policies. And we can scroll down and we see deployment failed with error, resource action disallowed by one or more policies again. And we can see specific error that we have resource policies on this subscription that's not allowing us to do this action. So now if we go to location, we'll close this warning, and we'll modify to create new plan, and we'll change this plan instead of using Japan region. We'll change this just to say South Central US instead. And then we'll go and try to create this resource now. Now it's working on provisioning. And let me see, in this case, it actually showed an error. It's just kind of a global error message for contact. Apparently, there's something strange in the portal that happened just now. If I click refresh and try this again, then it should work no problem. I am using the preview portal, so there may be something in here that's a little bit buggy in the preview portal um, in this blade, or maybe something just under the ordinary just happened to occur. So I'll go ahead and here and attempt to create this again. And this time I'm going to still use the South Central US region and we'll click create. And it's validating and now it's successfully begin provisioning this web app in South Central US, our allowed region. And we disallowed the use of Japan for a region in this case because of our policies. Now say you want to edit or remove the policies. So in the navigation on the left, we can click on more services go back to our subscription and then we're going to go into the subscription we want to modify the policies for again and inside here we need to scroll down the list of navigation items in the left and select policies and then say we want to we don't want to restrict document DB anymore so we'll click on document DB assignment so the no doc DB rule will be our policy we applied before and we'll click delete yes okay now now we're going to allow document DB to be used in this subscription and let's say we want to open it up to more regions or more locations. So let's click on the MyCorp regions and we'll click Edit Assignment. And let's say we want to ad add additional regions. Maybe now we want to start supporting um, some European regions. So maybe we want to support North Europe and West Europe now. Maybe our organization is expanding in additional parts of the world. Or, or we want better, higher availability, um, resiliency globally. Um, so we're going to allow more regions. So then we're going to say, only use North Central US or Central U South Central US or North Europe or West Europe for our description of this policy. And we'll click Save. And now we've successfully modified that policy to allow those two additional regions in addition to the ones we had specified before. And now any new resources that are provisioned on our subscription would then be allowed to use those additional regions. Then in this case also, Let's say we want to remove this region um, restriction. Let's remove this policy. We can delete this policy. And now we've removed all of the policies, now opening our subscription back up and not having any restrictions. 
So that's the basics on managing Azure resource policies in the Azure portal. Previously, this could only be done through ARM template deployments, and it was quite cumbersome to do. So it's really nice to see this feature being added to the Azure portal, uh, making this feature very accessible to anyone using Azure. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video or would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the Build Azure YouTube channel.